In this video I want to look at three different types of waves that you often encounter in Level 2 Physics in New Zealand. Um, we're looking at light waves, we're looking at sound waves, and we're looking at water waves. Now, um, one of the little tricks of this is that light, we sometimes think of it as a particle or as a, a beam that does not uh, have wave kind of properties but um, for the purposes of this instead of thinking of light as a beam, a solid beam um, as we do traveling in straight lines and so forth I want you to imagine that you zoom right in on that and that beam actually looks like this with a wave. Um, light then would be a transverse transverse wave where the medium moves perpendicularly to the direction of propagation. Um, sound waves next. Um, sound waves take air particles that are all sitting in all over the place and they vibrate. So when you speak you're vibrating air and you're making using your vocal cords to vibrate the air and um, the, the, the motion of the um, air particles um, hits other particles next to them and they travel through. So as they're uh, compressing and stretching the space between those um, air particles, they're creating um, vibrations which we interpret as sound. So sound waves therefore are a longitudinal, longitudinal or longitude wave. That means the direction of propagation of the wave um, is parallel to the direction of the movement of the medium itself. So now water waves, um, water waves, clearly water is hard to compress, very very hard to compress, and we see water waves moving over the surface of, so you might have a whole lot of water down here and you see the water waves moving over the surface or roughly in the, in the top uh, small section of the water as it's traveling. Um, so you have peaks and you have troughs and you can have little floaty things that move up and down as the wave travels and those little floaty things then tell us that the, the, the direction of the medium, the water in this case, is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. So this is also a transverse wave. And just briefly I'd like to come back to light because light is an interesting uh, kind of um, wave. You might have heard about this is an extra. You don't need to. You can close your ears if you're dealing with too much already. But um, light has uh, something called polarization. You can write it with a Z or with an S, depending on which country you're in. And um, light, we call it electromagnetic EM radiation or electromagnetic. Um, well, yeah, electromagnetic spectrum, and we might look at this uh, blue wave that's here, and this is going to be our axes, um, our, our y-axis is time, and our um, our axes up here would be, sorry, I've got this back to front, x-axis there, your y-axis there, but we can also introduce a third axis, which we would call the z-axis, to show um, three dimensions. And now, um, before we were looking at um, the transverse waves just moving up and down, but light actually has um, a side-to-side -side component as well, which is really difficult to conceive of, to think of in your brain and to picture it. But if you were looking at it from the end on, you would have bits like, in fact, the, the, the um, purple um, is side-to-side -side and the blue would be up and down. And that's what your light would look like. And uh, the polarization of light um, is uh, basically cuts out one section. So this would now be horizontally polarized light. And your special movie glasses that you wear, um, one of them polarizes light vertically and one polarizes the light horizontally. Okay, and so you can send a vertically polarized signal in this one um, and a horizontally polarized signal in this one. And then your brain joins it all together and, and gives you 3D images at the movies, which is very, very cool. And just that final little statement, 
this uh, these two sections, the horizontal and the vertical, one is electric field and one is a magnetic field and that's something to study in a little bit more detail a little bit later but um, they're both proportional to each other and they're both perpendicular to each other so um, something to explore later out of interest the main thing in this video is to take out the three different types that we commonly use and whether they are transverse or longitudinal and why